Thank you, Professor Willeman, for giving us uh, an enlightening talk on uh, the early pioneers who took the wisdom of the Buddha to China. And one has to bow our heads in reverence and gratitude and admiration at those great personalities, Gunabhadra, Bodhidharma, and many others who traveled uh, from this part of the world to China at a time when uh, traveling was far from easy. And what drove them was to transmit knowledge. They were worshippers of knowledge. They were exploring knowledge. And it must also be said in praise of uh, the Chinese that they accepted this knowledge. Hmm? Not only they accepted the knowledge, but they, as you mentioned, they, uh, they recognized that it all came from India. And whatever did not come from India, they regarded as somehow True. impure or yeah. untrue or even fake. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. So that is what binds India and China uh, historically. And this knowledge is very important for us to uh, build our relations today. Because all study of history is to understand the present in light of history and to shape the future to the extent that we can. Uh, we would have uh, liked to organize this talk, friends, uh, not here, but in Mumbai University at our newly established uh, Center for India-China Studies, Professor Ji Xianlin Center for India-China Studies. But due to some reasons, we had to keep it here. Uh, I want to recognize, uh, Professor, the presence here uh, in this hall of two professors from Mumbai University, uh, Professor Surendra Jondhle and Mridul uh, Nile. They've come all the way from uh, uh, the university to, to yeah. participate yeah. in this, uh, in this uh, attend this talk. Um, we also have other scholars, we have Vinayak Parab, we have, of course, they are known to you, uh, Suraj Pandit, uh, and... Old Hamas. friends. Old friends. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, uh, I must, although she's my colleague, uh, I must uh, mention that uh, the effort in organizing this uh, talk today was entirely Ashwini's. Ashwini Rao, who has joined us, she is uh, uh, the only person in our team who speaks Chinese, and she just completed uh, her MA in uh, Buddhist studies with flying colors. Thank you and congratulations, Ashwini. And uh, Professor Willeman, uh, we would like you to be our uh, a guide in developing the activities of uh, Ji Shan Lin Center. And as you mentioned, you actually interacted. You met Professor Ji Shan Lin. You have interacted with him. So happy to know that. And uh, you're also going to be spending quite some time in the, in the coming months in China, teaching, uh, participating in conferences, seminars on very important topics, including uh, a major conference on Kumara Jiva. So please uh, be uh, our guide in developing our activities. We have a uh, lot of ideas and ambitions, but it's only under the guidance of uh, Vidwans like you. Vidwan, you are a Sanskrit scholar. Well, I'm an Indo-European. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to know that you have studied so many languages, uh, 
uh, is it overwhelms us. <laughs> so keep coming to the Observer Research Foundation and now that we have another center, you are most welcome. Thank you very much and thanks friends for thanks. coming. Thank you. We have a small... Token of appreciation. Okay. <laughs> I don't call it a small token. <laughs> <laughs>